the long-term lease agreement um, or extension talks. Is that something you were involved in, and how important? Obviously, it's very important to the arena to get you guys locked up, kind of long-term. In, in what the, the current deal or the potential? The new potential, deal? the one they have. No, we haven't even started talking about that yet. Um, is that something you guys are interested in having those discussions? Hundred percent. Yeah, it goes hand in hand with uh, renovations, development, uh, for sure. And especially if we're going to be one of the developing partners, we want to make sure we have a place to play too. So, yeah, they all go hand in hand. Is there a length of time that you guys are looking at? I mean, that you would need if you're going to try to develop this property. Well, if you're going to develop a property, you're probably looking at, you know, fifty to uh, seventy-five years. You know. They use, if you're going to put put a lot of money in real estate, hotels, you know, making a development, you need the arena to be uh, successful also, and you need the hockey team and NC State to be part of it. Um, that project, obviously, we've been talking about this for a really long time, and you've been involved, you know, heavily. When you see a presentation like that, do you get as excited as, as Chairman Isley did about, you know, the direction and everybody seems to be moving in the same line? I'm excited that it's starting to be talked about publicly. You know, we've been working on it for a long time. So, um, you know, now most of the stakeholders are all been involved, uh, which is encouraging. Nobody's throwing any roadblocks up. Uh, so, you know, to me, it's just another step to potentially getting this thing moving in the direction we need it to move in. Do you have a vision for... 2025 at some point that, that this will look like what you've sort of I have lots of visions like. <laughs> yeah I have lots of visions you know anytime you're doing a big project this is going to take time you know you go through uh, development uh, you know you're probably at least three years before you ever even think about seeing a shovel in the ground so it, it's it's a process as Dan said it's phased phase process you know this could take 10 years to build out I wanted to ask you about the, the Stadium Series or the Winter Classic. Whatever, I guess it's the Stadium Series. Um, 30,000 tickets, that's uh, that's all the, the Hurricanes can get. I, I've already had fans saying, why can't we get more? Why can't we get more? Well, initially it was, you know, we get as many seats as we have. That's what they usually do in the building, which was 18,660. And we went through those really quick. So they've been gracious to give us as many as they can. They still have to hold back for their partners, uh, for other NHL teams. Every time you got a Stadium Series or – one of these games, every team gets an opportunity to buy tickets, so they gotta go through those processes, also. So you know, eventually, you know, whatever's not sold, I, I'm very confident we can sell for them. <laughs> um, what, what is the Carter family gonna hold for that? What, what, what some place, capacity will be? Some place, seat wise, some place around 51.5, not counting suites and uh, uh, that, and that doesn't also count what happens on the uh, on the on the floor on this you know on the surface because there's going to be a lot of standing room opportunities also how, how is progress going on that you guys have a game on that thursday now and it sounds like uh, maybe a concert and now so we got a lot going on it's uh, uh mike borman from my crew has been leading the charge on that and he's done a great job but we got a lot going on and it was, it's going to be uh one heck of a week i think here in the triangle area for sure L lastly, I'll, I'll just ask about the uh, the lease, the the naming rights extension. You guys are obviously negotiating. Is there any progress been made on that? No, we're still we're talking. It's it's going in the right direction. Let's say that. It's just a matter of uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of things. You know, the, when the deal was done 20 years ago, you know, you didn't have all the assets you have now with digital and and Facebook and all this stuff. So there's a lot of new assets that uh, we're working through to try to put the finishing touches on it. Well, I have you less than a week, right, till, till opening day. What uh, What is the sense around this hockey team at this point? Oh, we're anxious to get going. We're glad to get through preseason, and you know, we open October 12th here at home. And we're let's drop the puck and go. I, the preseason is going about as well as, as yeah, you hope for, right? Yeah, what I hope the preseason, the guys, you know, they, they work hard, they they learn the system, the new guys, and you stay relatively injury free, which we did. So. Um, now we just got to turn up another knop, you know, notch, and hopefully we save some goals for preseason for the regular season. How do you like the way the roster has shaken up with that mix of uh, veterans and youth? Yeah, no, it's, it's we had a plan this summer. You know, we went into the summer of adding some of the, 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 the positions we needed, adding some veteran players, and I think it's worked out well for us. And you know, it, it'll we'll all know in the next month or so see how things go. But I'm very confident in this group. I think it's the best team we've had here on paper. Uh, since uh, I've been here for sure. Thanks, Thanks Don. Thanks, Don. Appreciate it. it.